Till now we have studied various types of stresses generated in the body. With the stresses we have another term that is called strain. So this video is regarding the types of strains generated in the body due to the external forces. This topic regarding strain and stress strain relation is one of the very important topics and I will start with the basic concept of strain. Depending upon the stress, I can categorize strain in two types that is longitudinal strain and shear strain. So when we have uh, a longitudinal force or you can say tensile force or compressive force on a body, then the stress generated is always a normal stress that is denoted by the symbol sigma. That is the area of cross section. So longitudinal strain is defined as the elongation per unit length of a body. So elongation means let's suppose this is the length L. So elongation is delta L. Any change in length divided by original length will be given by the term strain. So this is a tensile force. So this is a tensile strain. So similarly, if in a case where we have a compressive force, then the decrease in the length, this is a total length. So if there is decrease in the length, then strain is equal to delta L by L and it is a compressive strain. Tensile strain and compressive strain depends upon the type of force and both are under longitudinal strain. Now you can see that the units meter or mm by mm so it is a dimensionless entity. There, is, there are no dimensions of strain. So now if a body is fixed from the lower end and there is on the top there is a force F. So this is a case of shear force. So it, its tendency is to tilt the body in this manner. So th this deformation is in the case of shear stress. So the upper surface slides relative to the lower surface and the corner angle are altered by the angle phi. So this phi is the shear strain. So shear strain can also be defined in terms of this also like if I am having tan phi is equal to delta L by L or you can I can call it delta X delta X by X so it is shear strain and as phi is very small so I can write that shear strain is written as phi itself and it is in radians so again it is a dimensionless so you can define it as the change in the right angle of the element measured in radians so this is how we uh, use the term strain now i talk about the stress strain relationship so there is a law that is called hooke's law Hooke's law states that within elastic limits, strain is proportional to the stress producing it. Stress and strain are proportional. So I can say that there is a co constant of proportionality and this constant of proportionality E is called Young's 
modulus or modulus of elasticity there i used normal stress and normal strain so if i am using the term shear stress and shear strain so then the constant will be g and that is called modulus of rigidity so modulus of rigidity is the ratio of shear stress by shear strain clear so these are the relation between stress and strain so one more thing is here important is that i know that p is equal to uh, sorry sigma is equal to p by a and strain is equal to delta l by l so the relation between change in length so i can write it p by a is equal to e times delta l by l so from here so this relation will give me delta l is equal to p l by a e so this is very important this relation is very important in terms of calculating deformation so we will have numericals related to this relation so it's very important you can say formula you have to remember this and it is quite easy if you know about the hooke's law so this is very easy formula and you can find out elongation and length by using this formula